Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another video. Yes, I have not made a lot of videos lately. A lot of the videos that I've made in the past have only gotten maybe about 20, 30 views and uh, you guys don't really seem interested. So I'm trying to make videos on what you guys are interested about. For example, Monsters of Manhattan. One of the best looking fan films that we get to see this year. And it's not really a film, it's more of like a Netflix series kind of thing that they're basing their series off of and I really do like it it goes really good with like the Netflix vibe and you know those um smaller show vibes and I really like it now of course we all you know everyone decided to dislike Lotus Spider-Man Lotus and yeah it didn't turn out so great I personally liked it a lot but then seeing all the criticism kind of made me realize how it could have did way better and, you know, the fight's choreography wasn't too good. But with Monsters of Manhattan, you get great villains, great choreography, all of the fighting, everything. He does backflips that are just so perfect, and I love it. And it looks like there's going to be more fighting and more of a story to tell in here. Now, this video I am making because I am in love with the villains of the movie. Shocker and the scorpion now i don't and i know we do get to see kingpin but i don't think we see any more villains in these trailers um which is pretty cool is this official trailer shows shocker of course kingpin and of course the best looking villain of all scorpion they made this scorpion costume to like fill the f horror vibes and I, it looks phenomenal they're like combining best movie of homecoming the Raimi suit kingpin which he actually looks like from the netflix series from daredevil he looks exactly like vincent d'onofrio's uh kingpin which i actually really like now i can't wait to see more of these villains because the realistic look they take the costume design it looks like they took their time on the scorpion kingpin and the shocker of course almost every fan film you get to see for spider-man uses maybe the goblin or the shocker and i loved lotus's take on the shocker but i think this take on the shocker reminds me more of the homecoming so monsters monster versus madness or not not monster versus madness my bad um monsters of manhattan hope i've been saying that correctly the entire time but the shocker kind of reminds me of the first shocker we get in Homecoming. And of course, Kingpin reminds me of the Kingpin from Daredevil, Vincent D'Onofrio's. And it's, don't get me wrong, that's okay because, you know, we're used to seeing those characters. But they have their own little thing that goes with it. And I don't know how to really explain it. The tone to this looks phenomenal the villains look great now scorpion's blood on his hand like i think that's from one of the like people he kills or might just be him i don't know it's freaking terrifying now of course i'm not that scared but you know it's pretty freaking cool to see scorpion in a fan film i don't think we've ever seen scorpion in a fan film before if i'm wrong make sure to tell me down below i do not want to keep being wrong with any of these villains now the scorpion so let's talk about scorpion they made this entire suit now i think they used to post like weekly on like the costume making like the design for it. i think they made an entire video for it and they might have deleted it i have no idea if you're watching this by the way the director for this series i don't know your name i gotta learn it i do apologize sorry i cut that off totally but it's brandon my bad bro i had to look it up um I've actually not been focusing on fan films um, for a little bit, but I'm back in the fan film game. So, Brandon, if I am wrong, if you guys didn't post any of the making of the Scorpion suit, please let me know. But if you did, let me know what you guys did, because I'm pretty sure you guys posted the process of making the Scorpion suit and you guys might have deleted it. Um, a lot of fan film directors are doing that now, which is nothing bad, but, you know. I really want to see that process again, so I'm going to do some research after this, but still, phenomenal villain, um, of course, we haven't seen a lot of Scorpion, but we do get to see pictures, we do get to see a little bit, maybe, like, 
3.2 seconds of the Scorpion. Now, we do get to see Black Widow and all that, but look at the Scorpion. The blood, the tongue, everything. I think it's going to look pretty cool. There's a lot of ways you can make this work. You can make it work like the first Alien movie. You can make him look like the freaking Predator. I don't know. I haven't seen those in a while. But you can make it look really well with without overdoing it or without trying to make it the best you know there's five episodes to the series so i think i don't know if they're gonna be an hour long 45 minutes long but i hope it is an hour so we get to see a lot of scorpion i have a feeling we're not going to get to see a lot of scorpion because it is a fan film and honestly fan films don't often get to show the main villain too big but honestly i am going to be watching this over and over again i'm going to be doing reviews on this entire series really excited to see the shocker scorpion and of course some other villains like kingpin um show up now it says monsters of manhattan so plural you know like monsters like is there gonna be multiple monsters that like pop up in this series brandon because you have Scorp scorpion the only monster that shows up and i mean you can consider like the villains monsters on how they destroy people's lives but will there be any more villains? So, like, Rhino, um, I think Venom would count, but I don't think he's a monster. Um, but will we get any more genetically modified, like, villains? Let me know what you guys think about that. Will we get any of that, Brandon? Let me know. Put it down in the comments so people can know. Thank you for replying to my last video, by the way, Brandon. It made my day. Like, I saw that, and I was like, okay, cool, he's seeing my videos. So, if you're going to see my, you know, channel, I'm wanting to be your main, you know, news guy for your movie. So, you guys, if there's any news coming out for this film, I'll be the main channel to come to, explaining every new detail. I will be doing a full review for his trailer. Um, that's actually playing throughout this video. I'll be doing all the small details of, you know, maybe callbacks, callbacks from other movies or like, of course, the Raimi suit or the homecoming details. But yes, I will make another video about that. I hope you guys have enjoyed these past videos I have been bringing out. I thought I posted a couple others uh, about two days ago, but they're not uploading. So yeah, if you guys see this, of course, this video uploaded. And there will be more Monsters of Manhattan videos coming out soon. I have a Spider-Man 90s uh, cartoon video coming out. Basically saying why I think that's the best ad adaptation of Spider-Man um, for the shows. But right now, that's all I got for you guys. I wish I could go more in depth with the villains right now. But that's going to be held up for the next official review. Um, again, I am the main news guy to come to the news channel to come to for monsters of manhattan love you all be safe don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video put down in the comments what you guys think of what could happen in the future for this five episode long series thank you brandon for bringing out this content love you all be safe and see you guys in the next one